Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, I am going to show you how we can get the cluster ID of all the clusters in the Databricks using Databricks API. So whenever you are working with the Databricks, this is very common that you might want to see, okay, what is the cluster ID of the cluster which I'm using, right? So how do we get that programmatically and how do we get the list of cluster IDs which are present in our workspace. So both of these are actually very important and when you are trying to build any kind of uh, you know programmatic thing using Databricks, you will have to use this. So let's move on to the portal and see exactly how we can do that. So right now what you see on the screen, right? I have these two commands. The first command is spark.config.get spark.databricks right cluster usage tags dot cluster id right now if i run this particular command you will actually see right that it gives me a cluster id now what cluster id it is this is nothing but it is the cluster id of my existing cluster through which i am running so this is my current cluster id right so if i want to get only the cluster id which uh, of the cluster which I'm using right now, then in that case, you can simply use this Spark configuration over here. This same command will work out. But in case you want to do this for all the cluster clusters which are present in your workspace, in that case, you go for command 2. Now, let me run my command 2. Probably I don't have uh, clusters. But uh, in case, see, right now I have just one cluster. So it gave you one cluster. But otherwise, if you have two, three clusters or as many clusters as you want, you can actually see the list over here. Now, for that, you need to understand that you are using cluster API, right? You are using authorization, right? You are using, uh, you know, the API over here, right? You are sending the request to the API in this request.get, right? You are giving the URL of your Databricks, right? In this URL, this is the URL of my Databricks workspace. And then I'm saying API, second version 2.0, and then clusters list, right? Headers equal to headers. Now in the headers, I'm actually giving my authorization token. Authorization token is nothing but your uh, Databricks token. Now to get your Databricks token, what you can do is you can directly go to the user settings over here. Now once you go to the user setting, you can simply generate a new token over here, right? You click on the new token and generate the new token and paste it over here. So to the API, to the Databricks API, which is this, you are actually trying to, what you are trying to do, you are trying to get the list of clusters right you're trying to get the list of the clusters and you are sending authorization token which is nothing but your databricks token in form of headers and then you are getting the response now from that response you are actually getting the cluster id over here right so now uh, in fact what i can do is i can also print the response as well as uh, the uh, you know the response value so essentially if you see what I have done here I have printed the response response 200 right this is nothing but response 200 response 200 means okay that you have gotten a response you have sent it correctly you have got it correctly that is response 200 now print the dictionary now whatever the response is there right I am trying to get that particular response now how does the response looks like response looks like this this is the response right for each cluster this is how the response will be it will have the cluster id it has you know the creator username driver your everything all the details you know if you want to get any detail not just the cluster id so right now i'm fetching the cluster id but in case you want to know uh, you know any other id from here as well you can you know directly go ahead and you know just pass this particular JSON and get it. So it's exactly the same thing that I have done over here. So I have got this. Now what I'm trying to do from this clusters, right? From this cluster, what I'm trying to do, I am trying to fetch. I am trying to fetch the cluster ID and how I am going, how, how I am fetching the cluster ID, I have created an empty list. Now in this empty list, I am appending from the JSON, which is over here, from the JSON, I'm just fetching the cluster ID value and I'm, I'm appending it to the list. 
this is what I am doing over here and this is how your response looks like and now similar to the cluster ID you can use your you know your creator username as well you can use the driver you can create uh, get the private ID node etc you can get all these things so I hope you like this particular video you understood how we can do it and do not try my token because I'll uh, probably you know deactivate it so Thank you so much for being till here and do let me know in the comment section if you have any issues, any doubts and thank you so much for supporting me. I do recommend, you know, subscribing to my channel to get more content on especially on the data engineering side. So thank you so much for being till here.